The amount of data we produce every single day is mind-boggling. Your health records, financial transactions, and yes, even those cat videos, it all adds up to 2.5 quintillion bytes of data created each day. And that pace is only accelerating. Currently, most of that data is stored in massive, energy-hungry data centers around the world. But what if there was a better, more sustainable solution? What if it could be stored in DNA? Here's the issue. As the data we create grows exponentially each day, we are already starting to create more data than we can create data storage for, which is leading to a data storage crisis. How bad is it? Well, with current technologies, by 2060, we would need to cover the entire Earth with data centers to store the amount of data we're estimated to produce between now and then. And these data centers consume a ton of energy. By 2025, they're estimated to consume one-fifth of our global energy production. So we need to figure out a way to store more data in less space with vastly less energy and soon. And that's where DNA comes in. DNA is essentially nature's hard drive. After all, everything about your physical self is naturally stored as data in DNA. So why couldn't you store that cat video in DNA? Well, it turns out that this is no longer just a theoretical idea. Researchers are actually already storing digital files in synthetic, non-living DNA. Basically, it's a matter of translating the ones and zeros of your traditional hard drive into the A's, G's, C's, and T's that make up the DNA code, and then printing that new code into synthetic DNA strands same information, different format, but with some big advantages. DNA data storage is incredibly tiny. With DNA, you could fit the data from hundreds of today's data centers into the space the size of a sugar cube. And it's also incredibly durable and energy efficient, lasting thousands of years with minimal energy consumption. And it's future-proof. It would be really hard to access an old floppy disk from your smartphone today. But since DNA data storage is based on our own biological hard drive, even as technology advances, DNA sequencing technologies should always remain compatible to access it. Researchers are rapidly advancing their work on DNA data storage. In the next few years, we will begin seeing it used for long-term archival data storage. And in the future, it's possible that your smartphone could even feature a DNA storage drive. All of civilization's data in your pocket? Sounds like a pretty catchy ad slogan. This content is based on the I Am Bio podcast, episode number 71, called Data Storage Crisis, DNA to the Rescue, featuring interviews with Kyle Tamek, co-founder and CEO of Denali Data Technologies, Emily LaProust, co-founder and CEO of Twist Bioscience, and Jeff Navila, research assistant professor, Allen School of Computer Science and Engineering at the University of Washington. To learn more about DNA data storage, listen to the full podcast episode and subscribe to I Am Bio wherever you get your podcasts.